Hello, Internet, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress, The Tombs of Uncertainty. Um, last time we left off, we were starting to dig out a cistern. So let's go ahead and get the dwarves going back here again. Um, and the reason we're doing this is, as it gets to be about winter time, uh, we're going we're gonna to run out of water. Uh, we don't have any water otherwise and while the dwarves normally drink oh we have merchants while the dwarves normally drink uh alcohol and that's what they need to, to basically survive we do need water for other things um and right now let's pause and take a look we've got some little bits of water but they're starting to freeze over so we have this section here ice uh here is ice i think for example, our fisherman was staying over here for the most part. Uh, yeah, because there's some turtles and stuff like that. We can't do anything with ice, and we can see the brook is starting to freeze over. But we still have this freshwater stuff here. So what we want to do is get a good chunk of that water into our fortress. So we've got one dwarf here. I think our other miner is... I think scurrying away. So this is going to be our cistern. Uh, he's probably going on break right now. Let's take a look. What's his name? This is Adil. And Adil is going to conduct a new meeting. Okay, so he's going to go do that. Hopefully that won't take him too long. In the meantime, we'll get this top section filled out. Good, this is all, all dirt. So we're going to build a channel down to here. Because um, this is level with the brook. This will go down one level to this pipe here. And then fill in this stern. This should be okay for right now. Later on we'll probably make this bigger. Um, but I think we'll be okay for now. We'll block the soft so we can get in there. So he's going to come up here. Keep digging that up. Um, and let's go take a look at our traders so we have who did we get we got caravan from there arrived I'm gonna not even going to attempt to now to pronounce that so if we hit C um, okay th these are dwarves so unfortunately I don't want to steal their goods the only problem we really have is we don't have anything to trade with them. So I think we're going to let these dwarves go. Yeah, because I don't have anything good to trade with them. We don't have a... Usually I, I, I like to do a rock mug industry because they're, they're cheap to make and store and you can get fairly a, a fair good amount of them fairly quickly. Um, but they're not going to do anything for us right now. So we're just going to go ahead and ignore those traders. Once this gets up and... He's probably going on break. Let's see, who is this? Oops, okay. Ingiz, he is going to get a drink, yep. So we'll let him continue on. Shouldn't be much longer. I don't think we'll have a problem with the brook freezing completely over. Because we've got ice over here, ice wall, and... Yeah, okay, so I think that's just left over, because this will start icing over, because if you notice, this is where we've got ice already. So I think that is going to start freezing. In the meantime, let's see, we've got stuff brewing, we've got stuff cooking, that's good. Let's see... Um, we're out of fish and plants, we're running low on meat, which is actually kind of scary. Gary, I'd hope we'd gotten some more fish by then. Hopefully, the next migrant wave will give us some more, uh, some more people we can dump to fishing. Fishing is really good for getting extra food. We don't have a hunter, which is why we don't have any meat. Let's really quickly, because we've got only got one farm going. Let's get some plants. So let's, uh, let's see, do do do, gather plants, and I'm just gonna pick a. Huge swath of plants, just to just to collect. Uh, let's see. I am your liaison from the mountain homes. Let's discuss your situation. Yeah, 
Uh, world is same as ever. That's good. Nothing, nothing much has changed. Let's begin discussion. Um, next time they come along, what I want to get is... Let's see. Don't want leather. What I want to find is anvils. So what I would like to get, I'm going to put up priority for anvils, get those here. It's really the only thing I need right now. Look over the documents. There we go, so we can see anvils are fairly high priority. We're done. Yes, that's fine. Done. Great, just leave. Okay, so they'll eventually take off. Anybody back digging? Got cats running around everywhere. Okay, good. So he's done with his meeting. He's going to finish this off and then hopefully go back upstairs. Okay, scrolling around. Looks like we do have some fish. Where is our fisherman at? He's fishing. Where is he fishing at? You know what? Let's follow him. Where is he going? Okay, the fisherman still is finding a place to fish, so that's good. So let's leave him alone. Let's head back to up here. Okay, good. They're both going to dig these out. So let's go ahead and just wait till these are done. Where are you going? Seriously. You were on your way there. And you stopped queuing up the work. Okay. This guy should be done soon, and then he'll probably head on up to the top. And we have the channel dug down. Did you really go downstairs to run away? He's, he's gonna run all the way back up to the top. Oh, the pathfinding in this is wonderful sometimes. Got one miner walking away from the job he's supposed to be doing, and one miner who took the in, cr incredibly long route around. Okay. We're out of plump helmets. Let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a plot. Between them eating and everything, they're probably going through these quite a bit. You know, let's do a third plot. I think we've got two farmers. I don't think they're too terribly overworked. So we'll get those going. This is all done, so we're good here. He's going to finish digging this out. Now, once we're dug up to one block away from the river, so you can see I've left one block free here. I did that so that way we can get a fortification here, which will keep people from swimming in to the cistern. Um, and then if I dug straight to it, it would just fill with water immediately, which is one I, I don't want yet. Um, oh, we're also going to need a door, otherwise we're going to flood this place. Build door. Lock this door up. Because otherwise we're going to flood this entire fortress. Let's see, so he's getting up there. Okay, good. So that's done. So now we're going to build a fortification. Whoops. Let's see, so we want C, and then we're going to build a fortification. Build it out of chalk, that's fine. So now someone's going to come through, build up a fortification. That'll keep uh, intruders out. I think our carpenter's going to come do that. That's going to keep intruders out of our water supply, but still allow us to let water through. So they're going to put a door on. He's going to make the... Grab a piece of chalk. See these gems? Yeah. I don't really want to spend time cleaning all this out. It, all of these things are going to be pushed down through that channel and kind of clog up in here, but I really don't care right now. I, mean, I don't want to lock that door until he's all finished. 
So let's go ahead and let him get this finished out. As he slowly drags it forward. Ever so slowly. Okay, so now he's there installing the fortification. Good. So now we're going to let him get out. And as soon as he's out, we're going to lock this door right here. Come on, a little bit further, a little bit further. Great. So we're going to forbid passage and we're going to keep it tightly closed. That way pets shouldn't go through and accidentally get lost in here. Now, what we can do is we're going to dig a channel. So right here, if we go up one level, this is still dirt. If we dig down here, what will end up happening, that he's going in there, that will create an empty cavity down below and let water rush through. Okay, and here comes our dwarf. So he's gonna come over here, he's gonna channel this out. This should be a fairly quick job. Good. So we can see that turn blue. Now if we come down here and look, we have rushing water. And there should be more than plenty of, so we got water one, three, five. Good. So this, there should be more than enough pressure. This is going to slowly fill in. And while that's going, so now we have a good cistern. This is going to, this is going to take a while to fill up, which will be fine. We have a meeting hall here. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is actually make use of this. So let's dig. We're going to dig a hole. Um, let's see. Can we do it right here? Yes, we can. So now we're going to dig another channel here. What we will eventually do is put a well there. And the well will let us start to actually make use of that water. It's going to take a little while for this to fill up though, so I think we're going to go ahead and end it here. And next time we will speed forward to where we have this filled up and we're going to go ahead and start building out a well and see what kind of goes from there. Uh, so if you like this video, go ahead and feel free to leave a like. If you want to see when more videos in this series come online, go ahead and subscribe or other videos for that matter. Um, if you'd like to see other types of games or uh, have any requests for things we can do in this series, feel free to go ahead and leave a comment. Um, but with that, have a good day.